let's explore Proxima b. The closest alien planet to our solar system is far more similar to Earth than scientists believed. Proxima b opens a new tab, which is just 4.2 light years away from Earth, has a minimum mass of only 17% more than our own. This exoplanet, positioned in its star's habitable zone, was initially predicted to have a group of around 1.3 Earth masses. According to the most recent data, Proxima b may resemble our planet even more closely in size. In this video, we will discuss in detail about Proxima b planet. Before we begin, like and share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are new to our channel. Let's start. Proxima b, Proxima Centauri b. An exoplanet that orbits an M-type star is a super-Earth. The discovery of a sphere with a mass of 1.27 Earths, a period of 11.2 days and a distance of 0 0.04850s from its star. In 2016, it became known that it had been located. Research of Scientists Four years ago, HARP's High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher was used at ESO La Silla Observatory in Chile. To identify Proxima b due to this more current data, scientists have a more accurate and up-to-date image of the planet. They study Proxima b's atmosphere using the Etchell spectrograph for rocky exoplanet and stable observations Espresso. The very large telescope VLT of the European Southern Observatory ESO in Chile presently houses the Swiss spectrograph Espresso. Spectrographs are equipment that takes a photograph of an object and separates it into its component wavelengths, enabling researchers to examine it more deeply. Francesco Pepe, the director of Espresso at the University of Geneva and a professor of astronomy, said in a statement that we were already extremely pleased with the performance of HARPS, which has discovered hundreds of exoplanets in the past 17 years. This is a welcome and just reward for our almost decade-long partnership, and we are especially pleased that Espresso can now provide even more accurate readings. According to Mitchell Mayer, who was awarded the 2019 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on the Elodi spectrograph, Espresso has made it possible to estimate the mass of a planet with greater precision than one-tenth of Earth's mass, Mayer said. According to my knowledge, this has never occurred before. Alien Planet Proxima b was referred to as one of the most exciting planets known in the solar neighborhood by the study's primary author, Alejandro Suarez Mascaro. This strange extraterrestrial world may be found in Proxima Centauri's neighborhood, the sun's nearest star neighbor. Liquid water and probably even life might likely exist there since its star's habitable zone is positioned precisely where the planet circles it. This makes the planet a candidate for terraforming. Proxima b has a mass similar to that of Earth, leads scientists to speculate that it may be home to a rocky, terrestrial planet like ours. Despite being in the same neighborhood as our solar system, the star Proxima b circles are fainter and less massive than the Sun. It is believed by scientists that this exoplanet is tidally locked, which means that the light and dark sides of the planet constantly face the star. On Proxima b, the presence of an atmosphere is speculative at best, in just 11 days on Earth, the world can complete one full revolution around its parent star. Some scholars believe that the radiation emitted by Proxima Centauri may have robbed Proxima b of its atmosphere. This would have made it impossible for the alien planet's surface to maintain liquid water. Proxima b will become more apparent to us when researchers use ever-improving technology to conduct more in-depth investigations of this system. Is Proxima habitable? Regarding the amount of radiation it gives, its main star supplies around two-thirds of what the Earth gets from the solar system. It is necessary for there to be water in the form of liquid on the surface of the planet for there to be living there. High-energy radiations and particles, such as ultraviolet light and X-rays, threaten gases and liquids, collectively known as volatiles, because they have the potential to be eroded and escape into space. While visible and infrared light merely warms the Earth, high-energy radiation and particles threaten volatiles. Because Proxima b is subjected to a radiation dosage far more significant than that experienced on Earth, it is essential to ascertain whether or not this planet has preserved its other gases and water during its 5 billion years. The new study just sent in for consideration for publishing in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics focuses on the history of the planet Proxima b, as well as the number of liquids and gases that may remain on the planet's surface. At the moment, the amount of high-energy radiation that Proxima b is exposed to is 60 times more than Earth's. This number has increased by between 7 and 16 times since the universe's beginning. Early irradiation presumably caused Proxima b to lose the equivalent of one ocean's amount of water in its first 1 to 2 billion years of its life. This is the conclusion drawn from estimations of the phenomenon. It is not feasible to ascertain what occurred after that time. If the planet had kept exhaling considerable quantities of atmospheric gases over time, an atmosphere-free world would have been a distinct possibility. 
or it may have kept most of its environment and had liquid on its surface, both of which are prerequisites for the kind of life we are familiar with. Both of these options are still workable. Even if there is still a significant amount of research that has to be conducted, it is impossible to rule out the possibility that the moons of Proxima b have liquid water on their surfaces. In the scenario where Proxima b has an atmosphere and surface water, the scientists used a specialized 3D model and a broad range of water inventories and atmospheric compositions. To evaluate the probable climates on Proxima b, this evaluation was done in the scenario where Proxima b has both surface water and an atmosphere. It is only possible for there to be liquid water on the planet's surface in areas that get the most incredible sunshine, such as the hemisphere facing the sun or the tropical belt. Host star. A red dwarf star of class M, Proxima Centauri, can be found 4.2 light years distant from the sun in the constellation Centaurus. The planet circles around the star, which gives it its name. The star has a mass of 0.12 solar masses and a radius of 0.14 solar radii. These values are in astronomical units. It has a surface temperature of 3,042 degrees Celsius and has been around for 4.85 billion years. On the other hand, the surface of the Sun is 5,778 degrees Celsius hot, and it has been around for 4.6 billion years. The star Proxima Centauri completes about 83 spins annually and emits approximately 0.0015 of the Sun's brightness. Proxima Centauri, along with the other two stars in the triple star system that are more conspicuous, has a higher high metal rich content for a star of its mass. When compared to the atmosphere of the Sun, the metallic ratio of this atmosphere, which is 0.21, is 1.62 times higher. Due to the dimness of Proxima Centauri and the fact that it is so close to the Sun, humans on Earth can't see the star with the naked eye, apparent magnitude of 11.13. The star known as Proxima Centauri is classified as a flare star, which suggests that its luminosity and high energy emissions may rapidly rise at random intervals. This is because the star has potent magnetic activity capable of generating substantial solar storms. Irradiation is possible for Proxima Centauri b, but only if the planet does not have a magnetic field or an atmosphere that can shield it orbit. The distance between Proxima Centauri b and the star that serves as its host is around 0.05 astronomical units, equivalent to 1 20th of the distance separating Earth and the Sun. The exoplanet has a semi-major axis distance of roughly 7 million kilometers equal to around 5 million miles. Mercury is the planet that orbits the Sun the closest with a length of 0.39 AU along its semi-major axis. In comparison, the distance between the Earth and Neptune is 0.78 AU Proxima Centauri b gets around 65% of the radiation output from its host star compared to Mars's level of exposure. The vast majority of the energy from Proxima Centauri is found in the infrared spectrum, compared to Jupiter, which gets 3.7%, and Saturn, which receives 1.10% of the visible light spectrum from Earth. The exoplanet only receives 2.1%. As a result, it is very improbable that the surface of Proxima Centauri b will ever be any brighter than twilight. The most significant amount of horizontal ground lighting possible is close to 400 lux when a tranquil Proxima illuminates Proxima b. Additionally, experiencing flares is a sign of Proxima. The most extreme fit that has been observed raised the optical brightness of Proxima by roughly eightfold, which is a significant shift compared to its prior brightness level. Despite this, around 17% of the Earth's illumination does not come from the very brilliant sunlight. Because of its proximity to the Sun in its orbit, Proxima Centauri b is subjected to around 400 times the amount of X-ray radiation Earth experiences. Future Findings the espresso and sphere instruments of the VLT are going to be used by the researchers so that they may look for oxygen, water vapor, and methane in the atmosphere of the planet. With the help of MOST and HET South Photometry, the James Webb Space Telescope could determine whether Proxima Centauri b has an atmosphere. However, there is no concrete proof for transits, which means that the chance of this happening is far lower than 1%. If we were to use more advanced telescopes, we might be able to learn more about the planet Proxima Centauri b. The Breakthrough Starshot Initiative, which aspires to send miniature probes to the Alpha Centauri system, relied heavily on the finding of Proxima b to be successful. Researchers at Breakthrough Initiatives are leading this initiative, aiming to build and deploy a fleet of autonomous micro spacecraft known as Star Chips. These Star Chips can move at up to 20% the speed of light. Based on this knowledge, we may get a message about its approach in 20 years. Okay guys, these are all for today. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. If you think this video was helpful, please let us know in the comments below.